Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today we got ourselves a full face of Fenty, but we are featuring two newer products to the line. I have the new Snap Shadow in the shade Wine with the new Senna Lip Paint in the shade Underdog. So like I said, we're going to be doing a full face of Fenty, but we're going to be concentrating the majority of this video on these two products here. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. They all truly do mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. Let's get started off with skincare. So I, prep my face this morning. And let me just say, I have truly been enjoying these skincare products from Fenty Skin. So I'll talk more about this in my August monthly favorites because they have definitely made it to my favorites. But prep my skin with the Total Cleanser um, to cleanse my face. Then I went in with the Fat Toner. The toner and the moisturizer are my absolute favorites. Oh, my absolute favorites. So yes, that's what I have so far on my face. Now let's go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. This primer is not a favorite of mine. It works okay, um, and I mostly just concentrate it right here in the center of my face, but I don't think it really does anything. If anything, I just really like the smell of it. <laughs> um, I do think it does add like a nice little bit of hydration to the skin. It says soft matte, but it does not mattify the skin, which I do like but it's just not a primer that I feel like really does a lot. So I don't really use it too much, but you know, we're doing a full face of Fenty, I'll, I'll use it. Then we're gonna go in, of course, with Fenty Foundation. I have both the hydrating and the soft matte formula, but I love the soft matte formula. The hydrating formula is just a bit too hydrating, if that makes sense. I'm shade 350. So when this becomes a little too matte for my skin, I'll just add a couple drops of oil to it and it makes it like so much better. So going in with my BK Beauty 101 brush, we're just gonna blend this into the skin. Now let's go in with concealer. I have the Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 350 as well. And I think this concealer is nice. It took a while to grow on me. Initially, I liked it, then I felt like it creased too much. But after trying it again recently, it's pretty okay. It's not my favorite. It's not one I reach for all the time but I think it does add pretty good coverage and I don't add a lot of it, so it doesn't crease as much. Now let's go in with some cream products. Yes, let's go with some cream products before we go in with our powder. So I want to go in with the cream bronzer. I have the shade Teddy 05. So going in with the Refer 05 brush, dip the brush right into the pan. And add a generous amount because this bronzer cream bronzer blends in so nice into the skin so um, you don't have to worry about overdoing it which I really really do enjoy about the cream bronzer this shade is more like a contour ish shade contour bronzer shade um, so it works well to do both now let's go in with one of the cream blushes so I I don't know if I want summertime wine I think I want summertime wine. Yeah, because you know what? There it is, summertime wine, because we're gonna be using some wine, some wine products today. So the cream blushes are, they are some of my absolute favorite ones. They blend so effortlessly into the skin. They are so easy to apply, like there's no like rocket science to it. You just pop it on. You can blend it with a brush, you can blend it with your hand. I mean, pretty much however you want to apply these, you really can. So I thoroughly enjoy these. I think these are beautiful. Okay, so for setting my under eye, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Powder, and this is in the shade Butter. So I have two shades. The shade Butter I like to use to set my under eye, and I, I use a very small amount. This powder is more of a mattifying powder, but it's not too matte if you don't use a lot. Um, so I just go in with just a little bit and I apply that to the under eye. Now going in with honey to set the rest of my face. 
Then I want to add the Fenty Beauty Powder Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. <laughs> Almost forgot the shade name. And I'm just going to do a little bit more bronzing to the base, just a little bit. Okay, so let's bring you in and finally get into this eye. So this Fenty Snap Shadow retails for $25. It's going to, ooh. Did you know that Sephora now does reserve and pick up? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got a little distracted. This Snap Shadow is new and I have the shade Wine. I'll insert some quick swatches for you so you can see them up close. And it's a portable mini eyeshadow of six shades in a range of matte to shader finishes. And this product is cruelty-free and gluten-free. So let's get into the eye look. Eyes are primed with the ABH primer. And I'm going in with the Refer 15 brush. Let's start out with the shade Sherry Fairy right here. So we're going to start this right, right above the crease. Let's start blending this in. And that blended nicely. Let's now go in with the shade called Pinot Please right here. And I'm going in with a Refer 14 brush. Let's concentrate this on the outer area of the eye. Oh, this is pigmented. Well, okay. It is, the formula is quite dry on this matte shade. So it's, um, I'm having to lift up my lid to make sure the color blends into all of the creases of my eye. I'm taking a little bit at a time and blending that in. Still definitely able to work with it, but having to just take a little bit more time with it. Let's go in with this shade right here called Pop the Cork. And I'm going in with a Sonya G Worker Pro brush. And let's blend this in. This is the first shimmer that I am going in with. And for reference, this palette has three shimmers, three mattes. So let's add this right here to the center of the eye. And I like this shade, it's very pretty. Definitely looks a little lighter on the eye. I thought this was gonna be more of like a deeper bronze based on how it looks in the pan. I mean, it's not light, it just looks lighter. Flipping my brush over, we're gonna go in with this shade right here called Bottle Service. And <laughs> I think these names are so cute. And then we're gonna take Bottle Service and we're gonna pop this into the inner corner. Ooh, I kinda should've used this shade all over. Let's blend that into this middle shade. Ooh, I wish I would've used this. I actually think I'm gonna take Bottle Service and I'm gonna cover up that bronzy shade, because I like it. The shimmers are really pretty, and they're blending very easily. With the Sonya G Prinzel Pro Brush, going back in with Pinot Please, and we're gonna concentrate that along the lower lash line. Let's go in with a BK Beauty 208 brush, and let's go in with Pop the Cork right here, that bronzy shimmer shade. And we'll add that to the middle of the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, let's use She Bubbly. This is pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off the eyes and we'll come back to apply the lip and then I will give you my final thoughts on these two new products. Stay tuned. Okay, so eyes are done and, and now we're gonna do some highlight and the lips. So I'm going in with the Kilowatt Highlighter. And this is in the shade Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. So I'm gonna go in with the shimmer side right here. This is the Mo Honey side. And we're just gonna apply that here. I love Fenty highlighters. I think they are very pretty. Definitely going to give you that bling of a highlight if that's what you want. And I have a few of them that I enjoy. And then now on to the lip. So this retails for $25. It is the traditional stunning lip paint formula. I actually bought this when it first came out around the holidays last year in the mini size. 
and I lost it. So I was really happy when this came back in stock. Okay guys, I already knew I would love this lip color because it is gorgeous. The shirt that I'm wearing does not really work <laughs> with this whole face, but it's okay, it is okay. But love this formula of this particular lip paint. Um, this color is stunning. It, I wore it so much for the time that I had it. I wore it so much during the winter time last year. I mean, it, it's so pretty. It makes your teeth look white. Um, and it is the traditional stunning lip paint formula in that for me, at least for me, I can't wear lip gloss over top of it because then it will kind of bleed all over my lips and my teeth. So I just put it on like this. So my overall thoughts on this Snap Shadow in the shade Wine, I like it. I think it's great for the fall. The, I didn't use this cream matte shade right here, but I did use obviously the other two mattes. The brown shade, which is called Sherry Fairy, that blended really nicely into the eye. The deep plum purple shade, I told you all, it's because the formula of that matte shade is so dry, it definitely has a tendency to skip a bit. But I felt like when I went in with a smaller amount of product and built up the color, it worked best. So I would recommend for this shade right here, don't just dip your brush in there and try to pack a huge amount on your eye because I think at that point, you would notice a lot of skipping of the shadow and it would be harder to blend. But using a small amount, I was able to build up the color, blend it out pretty nicely. And so it definitely worked. I loved how pigmented it was because I know in the other snap shadows, I have three and four, so I'll show you them pretty quickly. So this is what four looks like. It's the pink one. And then three is the orange based one. I felt like these, um, the matte shades in these were not as pigmented as this plum shade was. So I was happy to see that the pigmentation was there. In terms of dupes, I wouldn't say that there's really any dupes between the two. There's definitely some similarity between these two. Excuse my nails, I'm gonna redo them, but they're looking a little, a little janky. Okay, so here is number nine at the wine palette, and then this is number three. This is the deep neutrals. So you can see that there is some similarity in a couple of the matte shades and some of the shimmers. I'll just do some quick swatches and insert them. This is that brownish shade from the wine palette, and this is the tan shade from the deep neutrals palette. This is that copper shade from the wine palette and a similar shade in the deep neutrals palette. So you can see that there are some similarities between the wine and the deep neutrals palette, but in my opinion, not enough to say that you can't use both together because they do look, in my opinion, there is differences between the two, but there is a little bit of similarity. Formula wise, I would say the formula is about the same between this newer Snap Shadow and the two that I have. I feel like the formula is okay. Like, it's not the best formula out here, but it is definitely workable. The shimmers work really nicely. They blend it really nicely onto the eye. And like I said, for the matte shade, that deep plum one, work in small groups and build it up to your liking. And I feel like you can get a really nice eye look. So if you're interested in it, I would say check it out. I definitely would say for $25, you're getting your money's worth. You're not getting, you know, lower quality eyeshadows, but you're definitely not getting, you know, high quality eyeshadows for the price. You're getting a good, decent eyeshadow. In terms of the lip, like I already told you guys, I love the lip. This is my second time purchasing it. So obviously I really do enjoy this lip color and the formula. And guys, that is it. Let me know your thoughts on the look that I created, the products that I did use. Let me know if you're interested in this snap shadow and the lip color and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.